Hello, welcome back. We are going to Ollie's today to get all the things we need for another week. We're gonna look and see if we can find for the new year. I'm gonna give you some healthier options going into 2024. I'm gonna share with you the things that we're doing this year as a family because as a mom to 11, a homeschooling mom to 11, we go through a lot of foods. Not only do I want to save money on all the groceries as we shop a lot, I want to share with you some of my favorite finds at Aldi's for healthier eating. So this haul will be my weekly groceries. We're gonna see what's new for the new year. Let's go shopping. Okay, here we are. We're at Aldi. Getting ready for the new year. What are we gonna find? Okay, let's go. All right, so I have Hannah and I have Cecilia and Vittoria with me today. We're here a little bit later than normal. We're kind of taking it easy, aren't we guys? It's kind of like a slow after Christmas kind of thing. So we're looking for all the things all these has to offer in the new year because we are going to do shopping a little bit different i'm noticing right away i believe their bread was on sale i'm gonna go check out the bread down here victoria okay so one of the first things at aldi if you're looking for a better bread in the new year because you're watching your ingredients rolling into 2024 and if you're looking to save money this week at aldi the bread is 3.79 instead of 4.69 so we're gonna grab like I don't know, we'll grab all of it. <laughs> um, at the end of this video, I will have everything laid out on my table. Here's a look at those ingredients. Now, the best way to save money and to get the best of the best is to do sourdough bread. So I'm gonna show you how we do sourdough bread in our house, but if you're at Aldi, you need a really good bread for the new year that's not full with chemicals, then this is the bread you wanna look for. And at that price, you cannot beat it. My kids eat oranges like it's going out of style. I love these are non-GMO and I love their $2.99. So going into the new year, more whole foods, less processed foods. Now at our house, we're doing more of like a keto carnivore kind of lifestyle. So this is where we're kind of going back to the beginning here, right? We're getting rid of all the processed junk. My children love fruit. I'm not opposed to eating fruit. And it's all about balance. So we are going to definitely be buying these oranges. I'm actually gonna get three bags of them. Three things of the oranges. Oh my goodness. Where did she go today? Where's Cecilia? She is where I can't see her. There she is. Aww. Okay, so I saw this was on sale as well. $4.49 for the box spring mix. Again, we're going to get some of the lettuce for dinner. I'm only going to buy one box at a time. Thank you for the tip on the paper towel. We have definitely done that and it does work, but we still, it just turns so fast for us. So I'm going to get one of those. Um, oh, they don't have any raspberries or Triscoll berries. Triscoll berries are our absolute favorites. So but they do have blueberries and I want to get some blueberries because that's another really great fruit with antioxidants. So. Hello, Hannah. Thank you. Is there a water bottle in there? Yes. Perfect. So berries, very high antioxidants and just super good for you. My kids could probably plow through this in an afternoon. What you do to save money is you grab the frozen blueberries, which I could grab, but I want to make them some blueberry muffins. I just want the little ones to have something to snack on. It's better that they reach for things like blueberries over like, you know, chips or crackers, things like that. So that's over loading up on the fruit. Now they do have the organic oranges as well for $3.99 and so I could get those but these are a dollar cheaper and they're non-GMO and we're looking at saving money in 2024. I'm going to show you how you can hold things down but yet still eat better than like conventional you know what I mean and not everything has to be perfect so we're going to save a dollar per bag and get the non-GMO. Okay I'm also going to pick up the organic mini cucumbers. My children love to snack on these and I love that they love to snack on these so I'm going to get two bags of the mini cucumbers so we use the rest of the celery on broth and at 219 you cannot beat that and i'm thinking we're going to do some like nut butter and celery it's a really great snack for the kiddos okay then so i would skip this entirely over here because everything is processed and pre-packaged most of this in 2024 will not be bought except the cheese and possibly kombucha I'm gonna try not to buy any of the processed stuff because all of this has got some form of something in it that not only does it cost more but it's gonna have for some reason they put seed oils and everything 
like these little snack selects. You flip it over. It looks pretty innocent, right? There's just sharp white cheddar cheese, dried cranberry, sea salt, roasted almonds. But if you look on the back and you start reading the ingredients, you're gonna see they have right down at the bottom, peanut oil. You don't need peanut oil. <laughs> Buy some cheese, cut it up, it's a lot cheaper. Grab a bag of raisins or craisins, whatever you like, and some nuts of your choice, and just make it up. So this kombucha, though, if you're looking for a really good kombucha, this Synergy is super duper good. No added sugars. You always wanna flip your bottles over because they like to add added sugars. Kenna, do you want a kombucha? Victoria, do you want a kombucha? I kinda want one. Yeah, do you want one? I'm okay with that today. I don't know which one I want. So they have, which one is that? This is gingerberry. Oh, gingerberry. Berry. You'd probably like that. And then what's the other ones they have? They have the guava goodness. They have ginger aid if you want something. So this week I'm going to skip the cheese because I'm going to be at Costco. And Costco has better prices on cheese. For instance, this one's $3.99. I do, do love this brand. Irish cheddar store of varieties. This is a very good cheese. So seven ounces is $3.99. And it's $6.99 a pound for the grass-fed cheddar cheese at Costco. So I'm going to save money by going to Costco and buying my cheese this week. And we're starting the New Year's off in a positive way. Saving yes. money, still buying the things we love, right? That's what we're going to be doing. So even this sliced cheese right here for $2.35. Very convenient. Six ounces of sliced cheese. Now this isn't grass-fed. Six, six, twelve. So you're looking at $4.70 for 12 ounces. You're right about that $6.99 mark for the grass-fed organic cheese. So do you guys like this one enough to buy? Do you guys want this? Do you guys really like these for your sandwiches, right? Yes. Do you guys want the white mild cheddar or the Colby Jack for your sandwiches? So do you want to do like two and two or three and three this week? We can do three and three. Let's do three and three. Okay. So we're going to do three of the white mild cheddar and three of the Colby Jack. And they do those for like sandwiches and things like that. One of the things that we will not be doing is buying lunch meat. We don't normally eat ham. I mean, it's a really fair price. $4.19 for six ounces of the ham is a really good price. They have maple and they have black forest, but... I'm not a big ham eater, and if you go over here and look at the turkey, $5.09. Still not that bad of a price for like organic lunch meat. Lunch meat is expensive when you buy it this way. So when you're looking at the turkey, this is just over $13 a pound. $13 a pound, you can buy whole chickens. You can buy lamb. Whole chickens are like $3 a pound. You can go ahead and roast that up and just cut it all up and shave it up for lunch meat all week. Unless you're little ones and your family really loves lunch meat, Costco is a better price than lunch meat. But if you're at Aldi, I would definitely pick up this one or this one and not go down here to the Aldi's because let me see if they have ingredients in here. You're gonna see things in here you don't want. You don't want sodium phosphates. Sometimes like these lunch meats will have even seed oils in them. It's just, they're really full of things you don't want. But the main thing is that sodium phosphate and the meat is not organic. It's not clean. So if you can swing it, you're better off buying this. And if you really want to save money and still be able to clean in 2024, just buy the fresh cut of meat. Buy, you know, buy the lamb, the chicken, things like that. And just slice it up for lunch meat and you skip the packaged stuff entirely okay so down here even though i do prefer buying my meat that's fattier 5.19 a pound it is the grass-fed ground beef and we are making we're making what is that soup called it is called a spicy lamb beef chili kind of yeah, thing really the kids love it we add the homemade broth to it which is so good this time of year for you and so i'm gonna buy it again so let me show you this is 519 right 599 come down here 499 a pound for this organic grass-fed 93% lean family pack now you think I'm crazy as I said we're trying to save money I'm gonna spend 20 cents more per pound and I'm gonna buy the meat that's 85% lean I want a little bit more fat in my meat that's just how I prefer it but I'm gonna buy three of these because we need them for tonight for dinner in ground lamb. I need some ground lamb for that too. And I'm thinking I'm gonna buy three things of ground lamb and three things of beef and just make even more because my baby loves it. <laughs> so another thing they have here, I've talked about this in the past, the grass-fed ribeye. They do have like the lamb chops and the roast, but I will tell you that if you have a Costco membership, it is cheaper at Costco for the loin chops, they're only $5.99 a pound, and the roast, they are only $4.99 a pound. So it's cheaper at Costco 
for the roast if you don't have a membership these are great some other great things would be like the chicken breast if you like chicken $6.49 $5.79 right now and then their whole chickens are $2.79 a pound which is cheaper it is cheaper than Whole Foods Whole Foods is $2.99 a pound and I think this is a one yes they have the giblets it said parts of giblets may be missing but normally these have the giblets which is so awesome I love how it says here hatched raised and harvested in the United States that's so good okay one of the other things we buy here quite often is the organic uncured beef hot dogs I have children they love hot dogs so hot dogs definitely would be up there with the processed foods, but if you read the ingredients, it's only organic beef, water, contains 2% of sea salt, organic ground, mustard, it's pretty much all the spices and seasonings, and for that price, $4.85 is crazy. If you saw my last Whole Foods video, I will drop below the last video, and here's a little clip you can see here that the hot dogs and like other stores are well over $7 a package. So these are super good, and kids love them. And that's a really good deal. Okay, so I don't want to show you some of this. This is something that I'm really wondering if we're going to do in 2024, and that is buying juices. This is $5.39 for the juice, now from Concentrate, which is so perfect. Not a bad price, actually pretty good, but I really think that you're better off and you could save money just by having an orange. Someone said something one time, when you pour a cup of orange juice, could you possibly eat that many oranges? Mm -hmm. all the juice in there you probably could have so you're actually giving your body more sugar than it can actually handle so yeah that orange juice is just loaded with sugar you're better off just having an orange so unless we're making a recipe i'm not going to be buying juice in bottles like this unless it's for my sweet little girl who loves her juice from juice in milwaukee you love your juices don't you and for the egg selection down here if i was going to buy eggs from here which i don't these are the ones i would buy the golden hen now i would prefer them to be pasture raised and organic but for 4.99 that's crazy good you're not going to find them much cheaper anywhere else i'd rather you get the pasture raised over the organic cage free so this is the immunity juice i've talked about this many many times this one does have the red apples the oranges and the carrots and she loves this juice should we get some more of these yeah, again, this is processed, but we are trying to kick whatever's in the house. And I like they're in glass. Yes. Glass bottles for the win. Anything new over here? Let's check it out. Looks like the turkeys are gone. We don't really buy a lot of frozen foods. This would kind of fall under the processed category. And we're here looking for bigger and better food for 2024. Okay, so I believe last year they were $6.99 with an inflation. You know how that goes. But these are so great, these journals. And they're $8.99. Last year they had some really neat ones. I'll kind of show you this one. So this is a basic 2024. They have all the dates like on the side. I got a couple of these last year. Let's see if these have the stickers. Yes, they have the stickers in the back. Thank if you, you want to add stickers, yeah, for eight bucks. $3.99. Then this has, let's see, your reference calendar has all your basics which is kind of cool january this month's goals home work school family friends hobbies finances self-care priorities there's another calendar of the full month birthdays we have so many birthdays in january events grateful for and notes so do it yourself this is january there's the calendar inspiration don't forget projects and plans a top three this week shopping list i mean this is just amazing to do list and then they take you all the way through the month and then you go into February. And then let's see what other ones they have. They have, this is a parent planner. So this is a little bit different. Your quick reference, personal emergency, family and friends. Ooh, this is gonna be really, oh, I think I might get this one. Okay, I know everyone's like, just use Google. I am a person who loves to write everything out. I'm a, I'm a writer, I like to write everything out. Birthdays and anniversaries, special occasions. Savings planner, nice. Savings goals, nice. There's a chore chart, monthly budget. This is super nice. Okay, so I'm gonna get this because I need a calendar in the kitchen. So this is actually gonna be a family calendar. What else is back here? Then they have affirmations. If you're into affirmations, um, be happy. Positive future five years, lifetime, hopes and dreams. Monthly mantra very cool so as you can see lots and lots and lots and lots of options okay so i'm gonna get this parent planner and i'm definitely gonna get this one this is to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow and i need a garden planner because 
this mama bear is starting a little homestead in my little half acre and the journey starts in january oh that is super pretty oh nice i do like that one for the garden this is for downstairs for the family and this, this is for, for probably maybe even social media for this one all my social yeah. media work is there one that doesn't have like a lot of like lines oh on it? sure let me look Okay, now that I grabbed the planners I wanted, let's see what they have for the finds this week. So for $4.99, they have antibacterial cutting boards. Nice. In gray and pink down here, they have the wide mouth juice extractor. We've had our juicer for years and years, and I love it. $34.99, and then they have a cold press juicer. And over here, they have the glass canister set with bamboo lids. That's really nice for $7.99. Looks like you get three of them in there. They have fruit baskets. It's how cute. You hang your bananas on the top and then you have your basket for your fruit. I actually really love that. Little meal prep containers. It says that it's safe for the dishwasher. Freezer safe and then microwave safe. Not a big fan of the plastic. I wouldn't put your food in plastic um, or heat anything up in plastic. Over here, they have the Portion Perfect Collapsible Meal Kit. That is pretty cool. Oh, neat. And it's like stacks up really well. And everything's portion sized out. It's microwave safe. It's also top rack dishwasher safe. I'm not sure I want to reheat my food in one of these. I would be okay with like cold food, like how they have some cold things there, like your eggs, your fruits, your, you know, your veggies, things like that. I'm not a big fan of reheating things in silicone. I'm pretty sure that's like a silicone material. And then down here, they have the covered fridge storage tray for $9.99. Nice. Keep it in your refrigerator or freezer or pantry. Stackable space. Saving design. Nestable when not in use. Those are really nice. Okay, they also have this stretch pod set. So, this is pretty cool. This is going to stretch over your food cover and say four piece set. How nice. I really like some of the things they have here. Okay, but wait a second, you guys check this out. Veggie and fruit stretch pods. So you can put like your Ooh. avocado in there. Does it keep it fresh? Yeah, I think that's the whole purpose of it. That's really cool. Wouldn't that be great? It's like this over here. How many times you have like avocados you don't quite finish and then they go bad? So these are $5.99. Oh, I'm really tempted. I know I was thinking about dad for his birthday. Oh, get him like to go Little snack and store on the go. Love for him. like condiments and stuff. Because he's doing uh, ketovore. Yeah. And he would definitely use this for condiments like mustard and stuff like he that. $2.99. Snack on the go. Little dip. This would be helpful for him. And so with these, for like the berries and stuff. Do they have other colors? He likes yellow. Yeah, he likes yellow. Because I don't know what other colors they have. Maybe orange they have... and blue. Yeah, no. What color did dad like? Yellow or blue gray? Yeah. The yellow one? No, blue gray. The blue gray. Okay, so we got some of those. They have the Piva bag assortment. This is cool. Steel bags, fun, fun. They have a medallion for $9.99. And I just love the colors. Everything's so bright and cheerful for the new year. Then they have water bottles. So you know if you're drinking enough water during the day. Love it. Let's go. Stay strong. Never give up. Another gulp. Keep drinking. Almost there. Cool. These are $4.99. For those water bottles, they have shaker bottles for $3.99 and all different kinds of colors for all your protein shakes. Here's those straws, $4.99. They have the stainless steel straws, glass that's clear, and then the colorful. We got the colorful ones because we don't have those. So I thought that'd be fun for the kids. Advanced thermal laminator with the laminator pouches. We actually need more laminating paper, so we're gonna give it a whirl $4.99 for like kids' projects and stuff. You can't beat that, right? Yeah. Check out the cross trainers. Ladies memory foam cross trainers for $12.99 in black and like fluorescent green and the brown and orange or like that cream color in orange. How cute. Right next to that they have socks. So these are the men's or ladies fitness socks. Check out those colors. I'm Thank loving you. those colors. Super cute. And then down here they have ladies fitness bras and all different kinds of sizes and colors. That is a really good price, $7.99. The sauna vest or waist trimmer. That's cool. I have no idea what a sauna vest is. My husband probably does. For $4.99. So they have a whole bunch of things here. If you're looking at getting in shape, 
Aldi's brought in all kinds of stuff. I do like that. 12 pound weighted vest, $14.99, that's cool. 20 pound dumbbell set with rack from $19.99. Let me flip this over and check this out. Oh cool, so it comes with two, two pound dumbbells, two, three pound dumbbells, two, five pound dumbbells, and one dumbbell tree, cool. Fitness weight set, workout bar, push-up board, pull-up assist, or door trainer. That's pretty cool. They have you covered. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna see if my husband wants any of this stuff, and I might come back. Cause he might say he doesn't need it. Tummy trainer for $6.99. Thigh toner for $6.99. A fitness massage gun for $29.99. Adjustable dumbbells, two 12.5 pounds for 49. So you can go from 12.5 pounds or you can have 25 pounds. 15 pound slam ball. $19.99 for the kettleball. This has three kettleballs, 15, 10, and five. Exercise ball, $7.99. They even have the EVO smartwatch. Cool, for $24.99. A regular price is 50 bucks. All different colors. They have yoga mats. The interlocking mats looks like they have like the primary colors and the gray, $9.99. That's a super good price. And then I was like super impressed by this product right here. It's a foldable exercise bike. That is such a good price. $69.99 for a foldable exercise bike. We have a rower. We have a really nice row machine that we got through Melaleuca and I love it. Lots of things to get you ready for the new year. You have to stop at all these if you're looking for equipment and planners. Perfect, hello girls. Hello. hello. And then snacks. They bring in all the snacks, but as we're looking at snacks, just be really careful. Even when it says non-GMO that you read the back because it has expel your pressed vegetable oil, which is sunflower, safflower, and canola. But I know the brands. I know the brands. And I'm really, it's really sad because they have like organic space balls. Like, oh my God, my kids would love these. You read the back. Nutritionally, it's great. But then they have yeast extract, which is a form of MSG. So I wouldn't buy this. But $2.99 is a crazy good price. Organic non-GMO popcorn, organic extra virgin olive oil, and Himalayan salt. Yes, this is a good one. Definitely a clean snack for $2.98. This I'd be okay getting if you guys want to get some for like New Year's Eve night. I think we might have some left over, but I'm not sure from Trader Joe's. And it's just extra virgin olive oil and Himalayan salt. We'll get a couple bags at $2.98 for New Year's. We are getting New Year's food too, so can find a lot of like after the holiday goodies. So these were originally $4.49. They are now $1.12. That's a really good deal. Except we don't need any more cinnamon star cookies. 32 cents for candy canes. Pretty sure these will be good till next year. This is the time to pick up stuff except it has natural flavor and red dye. So those are not ones that we would buy, but if you love those, 32 cents. Are you kidding me? So good. Right, we did pick up these napkins. I think I picked up these and then those plates for $2.19 for the New Year's Eve night. Thought those were kind of cute. We're almost done, we're almost done. Just a couple more things. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the peppers for $3.19. I don't think we have any more at home. I decided not to go to Costco until the weekend, so we're gonna make do with what we have in our house. Avocados are 49 cents, yes please, but I saw them on the end cap. They might be easier to pick up. Their gala apples are $3.99, which beats Costco. We need some of those, but they do have the pink lady. I personally think it's worth the 50 cents more bag. I like pink lady. I do too, but do you like gala? You're like, well, I don't care if they're Pink Lady or Gala. Gala apples are on sale and they're beating Costco right now. So come to Ollie for your weekly apple stash. But we're gonna get three bags of the Pink Lady. My absolute favorite, of course, is the Honeycrisp. But these are a little bit more again, and they're only two pounds. So that's a good treat for the fall. Let's check all the apples out. Is that bag number three? Yep. Beautiful. Okay, let's grab some avocados. How many? Well, I like 10 of them. Ten I usually buy 10. They usually, that's kind of like our number. And I am gonna buy another bag of lemons because these are, again, high in vitamin C. And we keep doing simmer pots. And so I want to do a simmer pot with some of the lemon. I love my simmer pots. And they're kind of hard, right? Yeah, they're all really hard. Yeah, nice. And then I think we have to get um, some Tomato sauce, tomato sauce for, dinner. for dinner tonight. So the green label, we'll just get three of those. And I think we're just about done, y'all. I think we're just about good. 
I know a lot of people look at the stuff on the end cap here for like healthier choices. I just want to show you something when you come over here. The non-GMO sweet potato chips. It has you saying no artificial colors, flavors, synthetics, preservatives. But unfortunately, when you flip it over, you're going to see sweet potatoes. There's the canola oil, safflower oil, or sunflower oil. Those are seed oils and they're very inflammatory. So no good. And you come over here. It says fit and active. Cheddar cheese uh oh naturally flavored rice cakes they get you though gluten free and they're like oh i'm gluten free finally and no high fructose corn syrup whole grain brown rice it's not organic so you don't want that then there comes the vegetable oils the yeast extracts yeast extract is another form of msg so you don't want that and i think we're done over here guys i think we're good because this is all the processed food and we're back to making our own sauerkraut we're buying our dried beans from azure but if you don't buy dried beans from Azure, they do have beans where they have pinto, they have black and kidney, buck 16, not bad. They have German sauerkraut here, $1.59, great price. We're back to making our own. So here's a really good find. Raw cashews, walnuts, macadamia nuts, $3.49. Cashews, walnuts, macadamia nuts, that's it. That's all that's in here. Yes, yeah, she would. I think I'm going to get this for my daughter, actually. So I love that they have that. But see, they come over here for $8.09. They have cashews. You see that second ingredient? Canola oil, sunflower oil, soybean oil. That makes these cashews, organic or not, something you don't want to buy. Our shopping haul today. We're going to go load up. Okay, so we are back from Aldi. We're gonna go through the table somewhat fast because I'm gonna share with you tonight on this video a meal that we've been making not once but twice a week because it's that good. It's so delicious, especially this time of year. So many good ingredients in it and my littles love it. So when you find something your littles like, you just keep making it and they keep asking for it. So it makes my mama heart very, very happy. So let's kind of just cruise on through here. So I bought the Wild Wonders peppers because I wanted some cream cheese and goat cheese stuffed peppers. The kids love them. I love them. They make a great snack. Then I did pick up the pink ladies tonight. For snacking, I might do an applesauce. I do not have a menu for the week yet. I just kind of went in and got all the things I know that we love. We usually buy a lot of the same things at Aldi's, except like the popcorn. Like They'll bring in some new things, which is so much fun. But for the most part, I do know what my kids love there and what we eat. So it's pretty easy for me to just kind of run in, even without a menu, and grab what I need. So the apples were a little bit more than the gala. If you remember, the gala apples were $3.99 for three pounds, which is a really great deal. But I wanted the pink ladies. So applesauce, peanut butter, and apple, really just for snacking. These are the Simply Nature raw cashew walnuts and macadamia nuts. And I was really happy to see this. There is just the nuts in here. No seed oils, nothing else. Just the nuts. They're non-GMO and they're raw, which is so perfect. Those are just for snacking. The blueberries. Love Driscoll's. Those are my favorite berries. I didn't have those tonight. So we got three boxes of the blueberries. One of these right away I'm going to make a um, fat bomb. Now they usually don't put fruit in it, but I'm putting fruit in it. The rest of them, I think I'm going to do muffins. Working our way over here, my daughters want a kombucha. They didn't drink it yet. Here it is. They can have it whenever they're ready. We prefer making our own kombucha, but a lot of times they're up. The kids are with me. They ask for one. And this is one of those companies I'm okay with. There are the ingredients if you want to check that out. No added sugars, which is perfect. Back here, I bought some more lemons because we're doing a lot of simmer pots right now. It's cold and flu season and citrus is your friend. We got lots of oranges. We have lots of lemons lemon in your water. Lemon essential oil is really great on your skin. Young Living makes a um, luscious lemon lotion. 
that my kids love, that I love. So we have a lot of lemons going on. So this is a really good price and I'll use these for all different kinds of things. I even thought because we didn't make Christmas cookies because everyone was just not feeling good over the last couple weeks, making some lemon sugar cookies for New Year's Eve night because walking into 2024, we're not doing sugar like no sugar. I'll talk more about that really soon because I want to see how it works, how my kids feel. My, I'm really blessed. My kids are very healthy. You can always, there's always room for even better improvements. And if you look at my snack carts over Christmas, we really tried to hold it down, but it was still sugar, 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 sugar. So we're going to detox in January and February. So lemon cookies for the New Year's. We'll make just enough for New Year's Eve night. So we have the lemons, lots of um, cuties, love these are all out i was really nervous for a while i couldn't find mandarins or cuties they were non-gmo i couldn't even find them in stock so perfect timing they have these rolling out 2.99 a bag I don't know if you saw my last video. If not, you should go watch it. It's really good. Our Christmas haul video. It's my most recent one with Costco. Anyways, when I was at our co-op, they were charging $7.99 a bag. So I got three bags. Back here, we got some of the popcorn Himalayan pink salt. And yes, we're doing less processed food going into the new year, but we wanted popcorn for New Year's Eve. So they had the organic non-GMO popcorn organic extra virgin coconut oil and Himalayan salt. What you want to make sure you look at are the ingredients all the time because this company also had, they had these little ball things and I looked at the ingredients and there was yeast extract in it, which is a form of MSG. So just because a company has one product that's super clean, it doesn't mean that all of their products are super clean. I wish that was the case, it's just not. I know that a lot of these um, companies try to do their best, but for our family, we're not taking an MSG or seed oil. So that's just a no bueno for us. So we got two bags of the Himalayan pink salt popcorn for New Year's Eve night and working our way down here. We got some of the delicious snacking cucumbers. My kids will just grab these and eat them for snack. We got two bags of those and then cheese, the white cheddar and the Colby Jack. We got three and three. These are really great for like sandwiches and stuff. If you want to put a slice of cheese on your eggs, if you just want a slice of cheese, my kids will just take a piece out of the box and eat it or they will make grilled cheese with this, but a lot of times what they're doing recently is they're making veggie sandwiches and putting a slice of cheese on it. That seems to be the go-to, like avocado and cucumber, and then they'll put some like greens back there and some cheese and tomato, onion, call it good. They love it. So we got the sliced cheese for that. Super good price. Like moving our way over here. I do know it's processed. Hot dogs are a processed product. They're uncured beef hot dogs. There's no nitrates or nitrates added. Um, if you look at the ingredients here, there's nothing harmful in it. It's just organic beef and water. They're grass-fed hot dogs. I mean, for that price, and then they were on sale, I should have bought more. I mean, it was like 15 cents off, so... I held down my budget this week, but I bought three of them and I'm thinking about doing something with these for the kids on New Year's. I'm not quite sure yet. My kids love homemade like baked beans and hot dogs, like love them. So my daughter Grace makes an excellent, I mean, excellent baked bean. So I should really drop that recipe or have her make it in one of our videos. I'm not sure if I've done that yet. I don't think I have. So we might do something like that and they're just super good. Back here, avocados for everything. These are a little hard. We have some that aren't hard, that are ready to go, we're ready to eat those, just always a rotation. So I buy 10 avocados every time we go. We go through one to two avocados with every meal. We put avocados, it's a really healthy, good fat for you. And so they'll put on burgers, chicken, they'll put in their chili tonight. But pretty much avocados on everything, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snack. My little one, Cecilia, will just eat an avocado. I can just cut it open and she'll just eat it straight. Nothing on it, just the avocado. She loves it. Back here we have celery. For anything you need celery, we put celery in a lot of our stuff. Celery and peanut butter, celery in all your soups and stews. It's just one of those staples in our house along with the spring mix. The spring mix is your, your normal like salad mix, but we also put in our sandwiches. We love it. And it was on sale, which is so good. 
Down over here, the bread was on sale. I should have bought way more than this. It looked like it was about a dollar off per loaf right now, which is so incredibly good. But I got three of the Seatastic, three of the Grain-tastic. French toast, sandwiches, whatever you need bread for, we have it. There again is the ingredients on the back if you wanna take a look at it. Now my kids like both of these breads. I don't have a problem um, with them eating either one of them. There you go. So we got six loaves. Back here, we bought three of the lamb this week because we were making that chili tonight. And then I grabbed an extra one for meatballs for New Year's. And we got three of the ground beef. Like I was saying earlier, I do like the 85% lean over the 93% because I want that good fat. And then back here, I got some of the tomato basil. This is like probably the cheapest pasta sauce on the market. And the ingredients are excellent. There's the ingredients if you want to look at them. They're so good. My kids love this. We've used this on pizzas. We're actually going to use this tonight in our chili as a base. $1.99 is incredible. If you've ever priced pasta sauce, it's, it's super expensive. Two last things on the table. We got the organic immunity blend with the carrots and the apples and all that good stuff. There's the ingredients on that. And so we got two of those. So I've got to come down here. So we have some really good finds and I want to show you what I got. So we did end up buying the veggie and fruit stretch pods and I'm really glad we did because they, sh they sold me on the avocado. If you've ever tried to save an avocado, it turns brown instantly. I know there's tricks to keep in the avocado from turning brown, but for some reason, our house, the tricks never happen. So I'm hoping that I can at least get the avocado in this thing. So so we can save it my husband's birthday is in january and I actually showed my daughter this as well and she's like oh i would totally use that for work and her birthday is in january check these out snack and store on the go i got this for my husband it's like a little container for him to carry whatever he needs to carry in there super cute i was thinking like berries and things like that and then this is another little snack and go i did pick this up with the two compartments so like one for dip one for like celery carrots whatever you want when we go out the one thing i can't stand he's like i'm gonna grab a hot dog from costco i'm just not gonna use the bun but i want to use the condiments i know the condiments have like high fructose corn syrup and a natural flavor so now he can bring condiments from home so i was excited to find these i thought those were really reasonable prices and then check out these straws aren't those cute so we have some stainless steel straws in our house already i do have a couple glass ones we don't have these colors i'm thinking that my girls are gonna love them so anyways i thought they were fun so we picked those up i needed laminating papers they also had a laminator but we have that already and i needed more that was a really good price hopefully it works out well okay and the last things on the table are three calendars so i got one for all the gardening because i'm going to start more homesteading this year this is a parent planner this will stay downstairs in my kitchen or my dining room so the kids can look at this i like it this is the last one that i got and i got this all for youtube social media instagram all that stuff important dates all that kind of stuff yes there's goals and task projects that is why i bought three planners here we go that's the table that's the hall let's go make dinner we're going to go ahead and take two of the lamb and then we're going to take two of the beef I'm also going to take that pasta sauce and we're going to go make dinner. Okay, so over in the kitchen, there's the recipe. If you follow me on Instagram, I have this short video of this meal and with the, the recipe. I'm so excited to share this with you because it's so good. Not my recipe though. I changed it up a little bit. Here's a picture of the book. You're just trying to get away from the process and cook foods from scratch. It's a great book. I have a couple of her books and I will drop the link down below for you. I'm going to put everything in here. I'm going to go ahead and cook this meat down. So we're gonna brown up the meat. My butter dish is a hot mess. So we're gonna go like this. I called my husband here to do the draining of the meat for me. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and drain the meat. Okay, so what we put in here so far was the one cup of chopped onions, five socks of celery, now we're gonna put seven chopped up carrots, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put six cloves of garlic in there. From there, we're gonna go ahead and put in two jars of the tomato basil marinara. Like I was saying, if you need more broth or more sauce, feel free to add it. 
and I've had questions on the broth and we love to use homemade broth for everything. I did buy some kettle on fire and I remembered how expensive the box broth is. But if you're going to buy box broth, Cat on Fire is one of the only companies I'll use. Otherwise, we make our own. So now we're going to add the spices. We're going to go ahead and just put some cracks of black pepper in there. The Where three. you can see, we're using the three different color peppers. Yes, corns. it's also in that jar back there. Here's what they look like. You can get them on um, Amazon. I think they probably sell them on Azure. We got these from our local um, health food store. So they have a really, really nice bulk section there. And we are going to put this on low and we're going to mix everything up. And then we will cook it until the carrots and celery um, is nice and soft. So you can serve this with noodles if you want, like spaghetti noodles. You can eat it just like this, which is probably how my husband and I will eat it. You can serve it with a baguette, focaccia bread. You can have a side salad on the side with this. Pretty much anything you want. Mashed potatoes would be really good with this. If you're trying to keep things simple, if you just want to eat it this way, you can. One of the things we're doing in 2024 is we probably won't have rice in our house. So I'm kind of glad the girls found this right now. We had a bag of the Simply Organic Quick Cook Brown Rice in the basement. So we're going to have this tonight with the chili. Now right away, just kind of looking at this, I can see that I might add another thing of broth and another thing of um, spaghetti sauce. Yeah, probably. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit more sauce. Oh, she's adding the whole thing. Okay, we're adding a lot of sauce. That's okay. Let's turn that on. Because we're putting this over um, over rice, so we can make this a little bit more soupier. There we go. Dinner's almost done. 